Some of you may know that we were on vacation last week and spent the past six days in sunny Florida, taking a much needed break to soak up some sun and unwind by the pool. However, we're now back at Clean My Space headquarters and our arrival coincides nicely with a video I've been meaning to do for some time now and of course one that you guys have been requesting. My post-vacation unpacking routine and how to care for your luggage. First things first. And in this case, it's the most important piece of information I think I could possibly share with you. Unpack your bags immediately upon your return home. Don't wait till later because later has this funny way of turning into tomorrow or maybe the next day or maybe you'll find yourself unpacking a week after you've arrived home. And that stinks, literally. So what we're going to do is put our luggage on the bed. I've got a towel under here for cleanliness if you like, or you can do this on the floor. And we're going to unzip it and start to remove everything from the inside. Dirty items can go into the laundry hamper. Clean items can be hung up or put away in drawers. I should also say newly purchased items. Either way, we're getting absolutely everything out of our luggage and back to where it should be. Once your luggage is empty, it's a good idea to let it air out for a bit. So instead of zippering it back up and tossing it back into the storage room until your next vacation, leave it open to air out for about 24 hours. That will get any travel stank out of your luggage. If odors in your suitcase happens to be an issue for you, I have two quick suggestions that might help. The first, is to use a bag like this. These are zippered travel bags. You can suck the air out either with a vacuum or by rolling and pressing. And these are really great for not only packing, but also for containing dirty laundry, dirty shoes, anything like that. And we will get to that a little bit later, but just remember that as a quick tip. And the second thing you can do is to make your own little luggage deodorizer. And all I've done is put some baking soda course with about 10 to 20 drops of your favorite essential oil. I found any old piece of cloth lying around the house and a piece of ribbon, made a little sachet out of it and I'm just dropping this into my luggage and I'll leave it there while I'm traveling and also while it's in storage. And if you don't feel like making one of those, you can also just use a dryer sheet. If you have any stains on or in your luggage, you can simply use a little bit of dish soap and a cleaning toothbrush to tackle those stains. And if you, like me, went to the beach during your trip, a quick vacuum will take care of any rogue sand deposits you might have brought back with you. A few of my other favorite handy travel tips to help you and your luggage stay clean and organized while you're out of town. Remember to always pack a couple of grocery bags. You can use these for dirty clothes or shoes, or you can use them as pseudo travel cubes. That way you can really separate things in your luggage as you go. I do this sometimes, it gets a little crinkly, but it works. I also like to pack my toiletries in separate bags. So you can see I don't group all of them together, but I'll have a few items in one bag and then a few items in another bag. I've also come across these, which are blue avocado rezips. They're amazing, they're dishwasher safe, they're super duper durable, and this is the first time I've used them. I've been very, very happy with how they've worked. But we like to separate all of our stuff out in these bags. That way, if anything leaks, which my bright pink nail polish did on this past trip, it doesn't get on anything else. And by separating out all of your toiletries, you're only dealing with an isolated incident, not nail polish all over everything that you've brought. And as I mentioned earlier, I used these vacuum seal zipper bags while we traveled. This was the first time we've used them and I was thoroughly impressed. So much so that I'm actually gonna put up a video about it on my second channel, Melissa Maker, where I'll do a review and demo on how to pack and travel with these zipper bags. There you have it. A few handy tips to help your packing and unpacking go a little bit easier. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you like this video and click this button right here to subscribe to Clean My Space and join the fastest growing cleaning community on planet Earth. And don't forget to visit cleanmyspace.com for even more great cleaning tips and tricks. And as always, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.